welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create a windows server on digital ocean so we know that digital ocean does not provide windows images if you are trying to create a virtual machine but we are going to look at how we can use an external windows image and then we make a windows server a running windows server 2022 2016 or windows 7 or windows 10 whichever you like so the first thing we have to do is to create a droplet so we'll go to create then droplets choose a region i would prefer to use new york because that will be fast very fast speed for downloading a server image then i want to use data center one now continue choose the choose an image here it doesn't matter whichever you choose because this one will, in a few moments will be completely useless since we have to overwrite it with windows then choose a duplicate size of your choice i'm going to go with this ledger intel 8 gb ram then choose uh, authentication method we are going to use password and then create a root password first use your fingerprints to unlock then enter a password still this password also will just be useless but we just need it to create this droplet so choose a host name I'm just going to call it windows 2 into like that then click on create droplet so a droplet right now is being created and right now it has been created successfully now I have to create click on this droplet and then go to recovery now first turn it off using this button here should take a few seconds once it is successfully turned off click on boot from recovery iso now we change the boot device to recovery iso and then we turn it back on now what we do after it is back on go to access then launch recovery console you can also launch the recovery console from up here so launch a recovery console to open a pop-up window of your browser and then what you have to do now is wait for this one to complete loading as that is done we now have to launch the interactive shell so type 6 and press enter now here we have to paste uh, the link to our windows image so <clears throat> i have a text file here and there is also a link to it in the description so you don't have to worry so here you can choose any image you want i'm going to use windows server 2022 then so i copy this command from wget until this slash vda copy it then come back to the server right click here and paste it once it is pasted now click enter and then wait for this server image to download so this may take a few minutes but you don't have to worry since it is not using your internet connection but rather the digital ocean internet connection to download this image to the server so to take a few minutes So the server image is about OGB, yeah, and that should take around. Okay, the speed will be variable depending on the server region you selected, and then afterwards we shall proceed from there. Once the download finishes, I will close this console window, turn off the droplet again. Now go back to recovery and now we select boot from our drive. 
see the boot device updated now we turn back the droplet on okay now go back to access and now we'll launch the recovery console now we see it starts with windows so we have to set up a few things here before we can be able to use rdp on this droplet so expand this one Okay, we can even go for screen okay now we have to copy this password that is provided in this file then we paste it here then press enter click on the start and then search for CMD. What we are going to do here is to set up the network on this virtual machine because when you look at the bottom, at the bottom right here, you see there is no connection to the internet on this server. So here, you are going to type NCPA. Sorry, okay. Uh, your cursor and the cursor on the on this console will be a bit separated so you have to make sure you move your cursor properly so I click inside this command prompt and type ncpa.cpl now that should launch this window and for we have to set up this ethernet instance 0 so bring the it can be disturbing at times but okay open that now click on properties and now click internet protocol version 4 which is ipv4 click on it then click on properties okay now we have to set the ip address so click on to use the following ip address then type the ip address here i'm going to type this ip address that you see in the bottom of the console which says public ip address so that one is the one you type specific for your droplet so mine is 159.2223.1357 dot one seven six okay subnet mask is the net mask that you are seeing down there so bring this cursor back click there and enter the subnet mask two five five dot two five five dot two four zero zero okay now click on the default gateway and enter the gateway you see down there one five nine two two three one two eight dot one so preferred DNS server we are going to use Google's DNS which is 8.8.8.8 then the alternate DNS server we are going to use uh, the alternate Google DNS server so bring your cursor
and type 8.8.4.4 okay now i need to drag this window up so that i am able to access the the bottom menu so i click here then i move it up like that now i have to click on ok but before you do that is course check that everything are set up correctly okay sit click ok then we close this window wait a few moments and now you can see ipv4 connectivity internet and you see the internet to this virtual machine has been activated so now what we can do you can just close out of this console and we are able to connect to this virtual machine via remote desktop so open up my remote desktop client and enter the ip address <coughs> Enter the username is administrator and then enter the password which is provided here copy and then paste it there okay let's see agree to the certificate and then see We are now in the RDP server. Here we are. It is easier to interact with this server using RDP than just using the console. That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, leave a like. And if you are new to my channel, click that subscribe button. Be part of our community. Bye.